Welcome to the third of nine videos in our course Pro Video Editing with an iPad or iPhone using LumaFusion. In this video, we'll cover importing and using media, we'll discuss the main track, the enhanced magnetic timeline, and how to display track headers. We'll then go over preset transitions and markers with notes. In the last video, you learned about importing and using media. We started with how to search, sort, add notes, or color tags to your media. We then moved on to the different ways to import media. We then went over how to access media directly from an external drive or something like Frame.io. We learned how to add links to folders and how to use story blocks from within LumaFusion. And then we ended with how to create detailed metadata. Everybody's got to start somewhere, and that's why we've made a list, a shopping list of the nine essential things that every beginner filmmaker needs. It's really easy to get. All you have to do is click on the link in the card there or a link in the description, and you can get it today. So here we are on the iOS homepage and we're gonna open up LumaFusion. Now, we're gonna be talking about the timeline today. The first thing you wanna understand is that there is a main track and this main track is an enhanced magnetic timeline. And so what that means is this main track here where I have these two clips already from our last video, that is a drone flying. And this is where your magnetic timeline is really gonna come into. So I can grab this clip and I can bring it up over the top of here. That looks a lot more like other editors you might've seen. I can also just grab it and drag it over here and just place it just behind this last clip. This is where the magnetic part comes in. If I let go, boom, it grabs like magnets to each other and there's no space between, no black frames, nothing to worry about like that. But more than that, you also have control over I can turn on and off the tracks. So if I had this stacked over the top of it, I could turn on and off that track. I could uh, lock it. I could turn off the audio on it. I could do all those things over here on the left where the track headers are. And if you see just below that, there are two buttons, one that's blue and one that's kind of orangish looking. If I tap on the orange one, you can see now my audio meters will come up and you can watch those and see them. And you can also adjust the volume of each track with that. Now I can hide it if I needed a larger workspace or I can even hide all of the display track headers so that you can have all the workspace that's possible. Now more than all that, let me turn that back on. I'm gonna put this clip, grab it over here and drag it right to the end. Use my magnetic timeline and bring it right here. But you know what? I don't wanna cut between these two shots. I wanna add a transition. So what I can do is go right to the middle there and tap on the plus down here at the bottom of the screen. When I tap on that, it comes up with either adding clips or a voiceover or main title or a blank clip or an overlay title. This is where we'll find these in later videos. But right now we're just doing transition. If I tap on that now, I have a cross dissolve between them. So let's play that. And you can see it now dissolves between those two shots. Real easy, it's just right there and it's preset set up that I can make it so that it's just that. And if I wanna change the length, I can shorten them or lengthen them or whatever you wanna do. It's real simple. Now, more than that, if you are working on a larger project or just wanna stay really organized, you can add notes to your timeline and it does it by adding markers with the notes connected to them. Say I wanna add a note to this because I'm unsure of how long I want that cross dissolve. I'm gonna look in the middle of the screen right next to the eye with the circle around it is this little marker button. If I tap on it, it brings up the menu here. Now I can add a color to it if I wanted to, so I can go here and add a color, or I can add text. And right here, I'm just going to bring up my keyboard, and instead of having that time code there, I'm gonna say, how long should this be? So now I have this mark that's here, that if I go along, you know, you can still see the marker here, but if I get to it, right there, I can tap on it, and now it tells me what it says. For to leave notes for yourself, maybe for a team member or someone else that's gonna be using the project, or just to help you remember. In the next video, we'll be going over all of LumaFusion's essential tools you need to know and how to use them. Take this information and challenge yourself to use it today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to get your shopping list of the nine essential things every filmmaker needs, link in the card or in the description.